so good evening friends so nice to see you in this rainy season so today uh, there is a talk on cultivating organization culture rise above pandemic era or effect we have mr ankit joshi pura with us he is a today speaker i'll just take a few minutes for introduction he is a principal founder member and managing director of metamorphosis institute of transformation mr joshi pura is a versatile personality he is awarded the innovative trainer award by indian society for training and development with vast experience of public speaking and delivering lectures on varied subjects to institutions students different levels of uh, corporate people and organizations mr ankit has also been awarded the most versatile entrepreneur of the year by world leadership federation for the year 2016 he has an experience of 20 plus years of delivering lectures and conducting sessions on different subjects that can help to build individual and organization success started professional career in 1998 as a part time lecturer in a science college and worked at different levels of different industries like education diagnostic it manufacturing and life insurance starting from grassroots level marketing to regional level and national level positions ankit also has given services as a consultant mr ankit has designated and delivered many online trainings at different levels across various institutions apart from being a certified fac facilitator to train the trainers into soft skills and diploma in advanced selling and marketing skill training mr ankit is a certified life coach from ecology and academy of applied modern psychology scotland thank you okay so i believe uh, i am uh, absolutely audible to everybody right okay uh, i would like to begin with uh, one thing that uh, when i conducted my first session way back in uh, 2000 there were uh, two participants right and uh, today when i look back after two decade plus we are at least uh, you know 10 in the room so i have grown myself five times so credit goes to you as well thank you so much <laughs> and another thing which makes me even more uh, responsible and accountable to deliver the session is that looking at the weather looking at the condition looking at a face which is relatively unknown if you are sitting in the audience you are really here to understand contribute and appreciate what is going to be discussed so thank you so very much to each one of you for being here right and uh, let's consider this as a beginning of our journey together maybe in some session somewhere whenever we'll meet we would always remember this team was the first one who heard me in this forum right so that's one thing number 2 i definitely would like to thank giriraj sir because uh, sitting on other side of the table i have always heard him introducing and seen him introducing very many gentries and now today when i was being introduced it was an absolute honor for me uh, you know that being introduced by such a personality right so thank you so very much sir and uh, i also would like to thank ama for creating this uh session today now uh i would like to keep it since we are we are uh uh you know very concentrated group of audience i would like to keep it interactive so that what would happen is that you know it should not end up in a download mode because gone are those days where people uh, were habituated to sit back and listen you know so uh एक एक नॉलेज शेयरिंग पर्सनालिटी और एक कथाकार में यही फ़र्क होता है जो हम यहाँ पर डेफिनेटली uh, प्रैक्टिस करने वाले हैं राइट सो इफ आई हैव टू बिगिन विथ दी सब्जेक्ट यू नो लेट मी टेल यू दैट यू ऑल वुड यूनानिमसली एग्री ऑन वन थिंग 
that covid has given a great proof of concept to human race about change you know if you look at uh, the last two decades and if i compare it with last two years probably the human race who is by far not that good a fan of change has seen a lot of changes so hum aaj jo bhi baat karne wale hain i hope the mixed language would be okay for all of us right so i might uh, uh, switch into gujarati also sometimes because i basically hail from saurashtra junagad right and uh, uh, hindi and english would definitely be the major language of communication in today's uh, lecture so to begin with you know uh, i just would like to share with all of you that what is it that we are going to discuss upon so we are discuss going to discuss upon only four major points the first one being you know what is the impact the covid has created on a professional life of everybody and here i would like to uh, you know consider some of the students or recent employees into consideration let me tell you that professional life does not mean or it doesn't begin when you start doing job or start your business it's always there with you just like your personal life it's just that it cultivates or it comes on surface when you begin your career right but you have to behave professionally as well and that also has been impacted so how it has been impacted we are going to discuss upon that number 2 what we are going to discuss is how the organizations are impacted because of the pandemic or covid right number 3 what we are going to discuss about is that what does the world you know the the gartners and gallops and mckinseys of the world has to say about you know how we should deal with cultivating the culture embracing the change to unhone kya bola hai that's also what we are going to discuss and lastly i am going to share a concept which is kind of a compilation of my 22 years of experience and i'm going to share with you the concept which is the, which is known as rise so a small attempt as to what the rise is is something that we are going to discuss so i hope uh, everybody is with me and fine with the proceedings shall we shall we move ahead okay fair so let's begin with the first thing as to how it is impacted our professional lives first things first you know the hybrid work it has become mainstream you know so there was there was a terminology that we knew which is work from home or small office home office soho it has actually came into existence during these times you know and if i have to share the statistics with you when gallup immediately did survey after the you know uh, opening up of the era post pandemic 87 percentage of employees who were compelled to work from home they have opted for working from home at least once in a week so 87 percentage employees aise hain jinhone ye bola ki bhai agar ek din hame ghar se kaam karne doge to we would be more comfortable so pehle ghar se kaam karne ka change accept nahi karna tha ab wapas jane ka change accept so that's a human psychology right so that is the first impact that has been created uh, number 2 is that 75 percentage of the employees who are there who always say that this work flexibility has to remain forever now it should remain for ever why we'll come to that right second thing which is there is like you know uh, well being of humans that has become a key now कुछ भी हो पैसा भी है करियर भी है रुतबा भी है पोजीशंस भी है सब कुछ है बट जो गुजराती में कहावत है पहलू सुखते जाते न रहे सो दैट इज टेकन अ प्राइम पोजीशन इज इन एवरीबडीज लाइफ एंड बिलीव यू मी पोस्ट कोविड यू नो वन ऑफ द सर्वे दैट इज बीन डन इन इंडिया ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस हैव इन्वेस्टेड incremental about 45% in well being of the employees 
सो अपनी टीम्स के वेलबींग के लिए दे आर मोर कंसर्न एंड वेन आई से इंक्रीमेंटल फोर्टी फाइव परसेंटेज आई डोंट पॉइंट आउट टू ओनली द फाइनेंस दे आर मोर कंसर्न द एक्टिविटीज द पॉलिसीज द वे दे ट्रीट एम्प्लॉज यू नो थोड़ा सा भी कुछ हुआ सो पहले इट वॉज डिफिकल्ट टू गेट अ मेडिकल लीव नाउ इट इज कमिंग लाइक यू नो इट्स ओके इफ यू आर रियली नॉट फीलिंग गुड इट्स बेटर यू बी एट होम so those changes have come in so professional life has impacted the second point is this that well being has become the key the third thing is that you know the uh, negative impact which is coming in dei outcomes now what is dei is there anybody who is aware of this terminology so in any organization to grow or to function you know D stands for diversity diversity of talent E stands for equity how much am i contributing or how much am i expected to contribute and how much is the organization is contributing and I stands for inclusion because specifically between people who are working on site and people who are working from home plus the women uh employees there the consideration has gone very different previously you know the the norms of promoting people the norm of appraisals were different now even if they are working from home they want to have their say that hum log bhale hi ghar se kaam kar rahe hain par aise kaam kar rahe hain so jo on site aa rahe hain unko koi additional benefit nahi milna chahiye ya to organizations are also now not in a position where they where they can say ki bhai because you are not coming on site we'll treat you in a particular manner in fact there is a subtle feeling which has started coming in that you know work from home is like unwritten rule brought in the unwritten rule of working of 24/7 ghar pe hi ho na ye kar lo na internet hai laptop hai aap available ho family ke sath ho give me 5 minutes and those 5 minutes when it becomes 50 and when it becomes 500 even the employees doesn't realize so diversity <laughs> equity and inclusion it has got a very negative impact with that needs to be addressed if i go further next is the turnover it will increase because the the emotional value of leaving the organization i mean me and giriraj sir we were just discussing few minutes back that you know now is not the case wherein people used to stay back for two long years five long years a decade in an organization they feel like ye nahi koi aur sahi koi aur nahi koi aur sahi kuch na kuch to kar lenge right so the turnover this that will definitely increase right next is that <clears throat> manager's role is going to be getting impacted immensely previously it was just getting things done now it is keeping people together and here i would like to give one example of my own family my brother's wife you know my sister in law who used to work at a very respectable position in an it company in ahmedabad right and post pandemic what has happened is that she got a job or in a bangalore based company which has given her a clear blanket approval of work from home so she is in ahmedabad she is now at a position which is higher than her previous organization and she is absolutely asked to do work from home but the contrary impact that is coming is that since the organization is based out of bangalore they follow the holiday structure of that region of the country so you can imagine ghar mein kya hota hoga you know yahan pe kuch nahi hai aur wahan pe chutti hai are you are you being able to relate to this so these problems that are that were unseen is now becoming real 
they were never been imagined you know we we were we were uh, uh, habituated to have those 12 leaves and you know cls and pls and all and now the scenario is absolutely different so that's also the case going forward another thing is that on the flip side gen z which is the new generation they are basically willing to work on site unko bahar nikalna hai they want to go out they want to work on site they consider that as a cool thing they consider that as a matter of thrill that i'm going i'm driving down to my office i'm driving down to my workplace and then i'm working on it right so that is also there and just by working at home there are all other things that are also there which we would definitely discuss so this is something which is impacted as far as the personal or individuals professional lifestyle is concerned there is one more point that i would like to bring out here is that the work week you know it is becoming shorter so we have heard of you know working from monday to saturday and then sometimes if the work is more we have to work on sundays also probably most of us have brought up or or created our career into that sort then came in an era where friday work we do not work on saturdays that is coming now the new thing which is coming is that you give me a task you give me a list of work you you know these are the things that needs to be completed don't ask me when am i doing it aapka kaam ho jayega fir main kab duty pe hu punch in punch out you know so it becomes very difficult for organizations to manage because of the attitude which is got impacted due to covid so i believe these are very obvious things that every one of us must be able to relate now i would like to share some of the statistics with you right so uh, one statistics that i came across is that you know uh, that more than more than 50% uh, of of the of the employees you know they have started demanding customize things from organizations when i say this it means that you know because the distance of my home and the workplace is so and so why can't you also give me work from home or on the contrary if i'm traveling so much you know you might want to bend or change your rule to pay me an additional amount of traveling now these are becoming very customized you know requirements so that is one thing another thing is that you know pura on site jo log jate hain on site work karne ke liye jo log jate hain because of the environment because they see more seats empty out there so 39 percentage of the employees overall have a tendency to leave the job they have developed the tendency maza nahi aa raha hai pehle sab log the maza aa raha tha it was full now only few people who are coming on site are coming on site let me look outside because that bonding that value that connectedness has been compromised big time so these are certain statistics and i i i'm sure all of you uh must be relating to this that this is what is im- is the impact of covid going further we'll discuss about how the pandemic has impacted the organizations right so let's discuss about organization so how organizations have been impacted number one thing which has happened is that as i just mentioned that the organizational culture and connectedness has come into crisis let's say for example if we are if we are uh, hosting uh, an event or ghar mein koi koi acha sa koi utsav hai and and panch sat log aaye hain how would you feel 
the energy would go to drain. I mean, it would it would be absolutely less. So similar thing is happening. It's not that the organization has 500 employees. The organization has 1000 employees. But when you look at on site, they are very few. So that that environment is not getting created. And even though the employer is, you know, trying hard to create that culture, create that environment, they are unable to. So the biggest thing which is getting compromised on organizational level is that they are failing and they are finding themselves short of building that culture. You know, so why am I discussing on how it is impacted on professional life and why now I'm discussing on how it is impacted on organization is because for any situation, first of all, we are supposed to come to a common consensus that, okay, this is the issue or this is the situation. Until and unless we jot that down, we can't address it. So, first of all, we have to understand that there are issues that are because of the pandemic. Its remedial effect or remedial system we will discuss later. Right? So, at organizational level, this is the first thing that has happened. Second thing which has happened is, organizations, uh, you know, uh, cost in current climate. Jo organization hai, unka jo, jo costing hai, wo bhi bahut very ho hai. Before pandemic, I just entered into an office which can host, let's say, 50 plus employees. And now suddenly I have to, whether I like it or not, I have to go into the model of work from home. Now who will pay the rent? Right? So for the employer, usse ugalte bhi nahi ban raha hai, nigalte bhi nahi ban raha hai. They can't let go of the premise. Because once if they let go, and to acquire it back post pandemic, it's going to be a big, big difficulty in terms of everything. Availability, pricing, cost, everything. So that's also is getting impacted big time. Right? Third point, which is which where the organizations got impacted is here, is that, you know, it's it has become easier for employees to move jobs without exist, exiting the company. I have, I have been knowing quite a few people who are working in multiple companies at a time. Kisko pata chalne wala hai? Work from home hi hai. Previously, I used to work on one domain, in one laptop, on one window. Now I'm opening two of them. So, uske vajay se bhi kya ho hai that the person who should be giving 100% for the growth of the organization, that's getting divided. Because everybody has gone through one of the thing which is underline and which is a bottom line is that, you know, everybody has gone through a big time financial crisis, be it organizations or an individual because of the pandemic. So, they also don't have, you know, uh, option and liberty ki jo pehle tankha aati thi usme hi ghar chal jayega having said that knowingly or unknowingly this point of compromise has come into play so there are many employees who are working into multiple companies in one go without even letting the two or three organizations know that they are simultaneously working there so that is there next is you know Biggest issue is attracting and retaining the talent. Now, specifically what is happening is that uh, post-pandemic, if you see, there is, there, is a, there is a storm that has come in of startup and entrepreneurship. You go to any engineering institute, you go to any college, any university, they have a incubation cell. Now, pardon me for my, my straight and direct comment on this, but that also has 
gone towards an approach of doing business. So education also has become business. And how do you attract student is to give them a guarantee of employment. Is to give them a guarantee of employment. You know, our placement ratio is 98 percentage, 95 percentage, so and so. And when they can't do it, they start the incubation cell. And what happens? हमने आपको बिजनेस कैसे करना है आइडिया सिखा दिया बिजनेस सिखा दिया अब आप सक्सेसफुल नहीं हुए हो तो वो हमारी गलती नहीं है बट वी हैव हंड्रेड परसेंट प्लेस्ड और यू नो पुट दी पर्सन और अ स्टूडेंट टू वर्क सो अगर आप मेरे इंस्टीट्यूट में आते हो तो या तो आप बिजनेस करना सीख जाओगे या आपको जॉब मिल जाएगी सो कम टू अस एंड दैट्स द रीजन वाई दी एक्चुअल टैलेंट is becoming very rare i hope everybody is being able to relate to this right ab jahan par bhi jao like if i have to tell you there are three subjects since i am running myself i am running a training institute there are three subjects whose inquiries post pandemic has increased multifold number one is stress management everybody is do you do stress ma stress management workshop we want to conduct a stress management workshop that's number 1 number 2 team building and culture building aap aao aur bolo ki hum pehle purane jaise the waise hi hain hum acche hi hain hamare sath jude raho you know so that's the second thing and third requirement which is coming in for training is how do you retain employees कि टिकते ही नहीं है इमीडिएटली दे वॉन्ट टू डू समथिंग और दी अदर नहीं मजा आया जैसा कि मैंने पहले बोला था ये नहीं कोई और सही कोई और नहीं कोई और सही सो दैट एटीट्यूड इज बिकमिंग और और इफ यू रिमेंबर वेन वी ऑल वर आई मीन मेजोरिटी ऑफ द एडल्ट इन द रूम वेन वी वर किड्स यू नो यू नो हाउ डिड वी लर्न राइटिंग द नंबर्स घूटी ने शुद्ध गुजराती में घूटी ने सो वाई इट इज स्टिल दैट हैविली इनग्रेव्ड इन आवर माइंड इज दैट इवन इफ समबडी आस्क अस नॉट टू लुक एट द पेपर एंड राइट वन इन गुजराती और इंग्लिश वी विल बिकॉज वी हैव डन इट थाउजेंड टाइम्स आखी पार्टी भराई जाए लख्यू है खाली एक डो सो द मोर द इम्प्रेशन कम्स द मोर इट बिकम्स सॉलिडिफाइड द सेम थिंग हैज हैपन्ड हियर everybody you go on internet you go on social media you google you talk to some you know experienced person they always say opportunities ki kami nahi hai kuch na kuch to apne life mein acha kar hi loge darne ki zarurat nahi hai if you are uncomfortable leave it but in that run nobody teaches or holds the hand of a person or touches the heart of the individual by saying that just like there are no dearth of opportunity just like if you are not comfortable change it or leave it you also need to learn to adapt kyunki zindagi bhar aap ek chhod ke dusra nahi kar sakte but nobody is there they want to create that false feel good impact maine usko bol diya ab wo zyada confident hai you know giriraj sir has mentioned a very very good thing while we were having a cup of coffee that you know ab ki generation mein aisa ho gaya hai tu mere ko sham ko nikalega main ab bhi ja raha hu aadha kaam chhod ke and when we ask them that do you have any any other opportunity in hand koi dikkat nahi kar lenge sir मैं कल से तो मैं वेकेशन पे चला जाऊंगा दैट्स द केस सो दे डोंट अंडरस्टैंड दी दी लॉन्ग टर्म बिल्डिंग धेम सेल्फ इट्स अ प्रोसेस इट इज अ प्रोसेस इट डजेंट हैपन ओवर माई ओवर नाइट सो इन अ वेरी लाइटर नोट आई ऑलवेज से दिस दैट मिरेकल्स ऑफ वट एवर काइंड हैपन्स ओवर नाइट आफ्टर ट्वेंटी ईयर्स You need to invest. You know, अपने को तपाना पड़ेगा गलाना पड़ेगा जलाना पड़ेगा तब जाकर के वील बी एबल टू प्रूव समथिंग टू द वर्ल्ड 
right? Even if, if, if I just share one of the more personal conversation that we just had outside the room. So Mr. George was asking me that, sir, is this your first lecture in AMA? For AMA? I said, yes. And I'm so fortunate that I'm doing it for AMA finally. And that too in an occasion where AMA, kind of an institution celebrating its 25 years. Right? So you guys were gracious enough and you know, kind enough to zero in your selection on me. But AMA mein sir, aapne kitne sessions ki hai? Otherwise, maine ka maybe it's more than hundred. Now, why am I saying this? Is that you need to have that patience. And let me admit, ki maine bhi apne aap ko yahan par is level pe lane ke liye consciously prepare kiya hai. Maine raha dekhi hai. And if you ask to any of the staff members of AMA, like him or anyone, they have been, you know, seeing me in and around this campus for years now. But wo wait, wo patience, wo miss ho raha hai abhi. Ye nahi to kuch aur kar lenge, kuch aur nahi to kuch aur kar lenge. Mere paas ek bhoot achcha idea hai, sir. So they, you know, narrate the idea of starting or having a startup. And then they begin. But sir, technical banda ni mil rai. Aap help kar sakte ho? I don't know how to prepare my business plan. I don't have money. Or karna kya hai? Nahi sir, karna to business hi hai. So when you hear them in entirety, you realize that there are no two ends meeting. And that is impacting on attracting and retaining the right talent. He could have been a great employee. And most of the time in society or in this generation, what is happening is that we are producing weak entrepreneurs or self-employed people at the cost of strong employees. If he or she would have opted out for employment, she could have been one of the best employee of the year. But she did not because of, or he did not because of the environment. Mujhe bhi apna kuch karna hai, mein kisi ke liye kaam nahi karungi. But they never know, or later they realize that when you start your business, the first thing what is expected out of you is to work for others. But they realize it later. So that's another impact which is happening at organizational level. Going forward, Another thing what is there is, you know, the manager-employee relationship also has changed. And now what has happened is that, you know, the, the socio-cultural socio values are changing big time. Pehle aisa tha, there was a time when we were compelled to listen to elders. We were trained not to answer back. We were, we were, you know, nurtured in a manner not to ask why in first instance and whenever you ask, you have to ask in a polite manner. Nowadays, all those values and behavioral traits are getting vanished from our culture. Even if to your son, even if to your daughter, even if to your youngest and freshest employee, if you ask something, the first thing is that ask, they would ask is why? Why should I do it? Ya to itne me? Ha. And if you actually sit with them and give them a rational behind equating the remuneration and responsibilities, they have no clue. If you are being paid X amount of salary or remuneration against which you have been given X amount of responsibility, what is the equation? When will it increase? When will it decrease? How do you prove that whatever you are taking and whatever you are giving is either equal or you are giving more than what is expected out of you? They simply don't have clue. And that's why 
the immediate person who is working with him is his manager and relation between relationship between them is getting compromised big time another factor out here is that most i mean because of the there is a phenomena i don't know how many of you are aware but it is known as demographic distribution have we heard of this yes so would you like to share what is demographic distribution okay so demographic distribution now so i just have used a jargon to you know broad make everybody's interest but when i would share this you would say that oh we know this we have heard it in a simpler term right so by next few years india would be the youngest country over 65 percentage of our population would be between the range of 25 to 45 that's why what is happening is that are kal tak to ye mere sath kaam kar raha tha aaj mera manager ban gaya to kya use zyada pata hai actually i should have got promoted but he got it i don't know why he must have done something so main tumhari nahi sununga preconceived notion and that is impacted the relationships and ultimately when the relationship between two individuals are not working in a proper manner it is definitely going to impact the organization also right so ye cheeze hain so aage badhte hain next thing is that you know the monitoring of employee is also becoming very difficult we only ask them to come on call at odd hours we only ask them to go on mute switch off their camera and stay on a online meeting and then we only ask them where are you hum hi unko bulate ab just imagine karo that there is sudden message popped up on your whatsapp or on your email that you know we have a zoom call for so and so important thing at 8 pm and because of the work from home scenario everybody in the home is aligned that from now on by the grace of god we have been blessed to have dinner together which is planned at 8 pm marta kya na karta so that is definitely going so ye sari situations are this is this is the scenario which is we are, which we are going through right ab when we have looked upon or when we have discussed as to how the professional life has impacted and how the organizations have been impacted let's look at that you know what are some of the world's who's who or organizations who know this like back of their hand as to how do we bring in the change what do they have to say so hame kya karna chahiye what is the the world suggest to bring in the change and you know cultivating the culture and you know mitigating the impact of covid so first things first what they are saying is we have to reconstruction how the work will be done we have to be mindful enough और हमको ये एज एन ऑर्गेनाइज ऑर्गेनाइजेशन और एज एन एम्प्लॉई हमको ये बहुत ही कॉन्शियसली सोचना पड़ेगा कि हमें नियमों के लिए इंसान चाहिए या इंसानों के लिए नियम चाहिए काम के लिए बंदे चाहिए या बंदों के लिए काम चाहिए दैट इज वन थिंग दैट वी नीड टू वेरी कॉन्शियसली डिवेल डीप इन टू इट डिस्कस ओपनली एंड ऑनेस्टली एंड देन कम टू अ कंसेंसिस सो ये जो स्लाइड है यहां पर जो मैं आपके साथ शेयर करने जा रहा हूं या करने वाला हूं इट इज ऑल अबाउट वेन यू हैव एन एग्जिस्टिंग टीम फंक्शनिंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन जो ऑलरेडी विद इन दैट एनवायरमेंट है उनके साथ क्या करना है वॉट इज इट दैट यू आर एक्सपेक्टेड टू डू वॉट इज इट दैट यू कैन डू एज अ बिजनेस ऑनर राइट विथ योर एग्जिस्टिंग एम्प्लॉइज आई हैव ऑल्सो प्लान एंड jotted down a few things that what you can do in with with the new blood the fresh entrants who are coming in because culture is not built only by the people who are within 
you know the newcomers also will add to it the fresh blood will also add to it so the world while the world is talking about what you should do with the existing human resource that you have i would like to attempt as to what you should be doing with the new blood which is coming in बिकॉज मैं हमेशा एक चीज मानता हूं कि जैसे एक मछली पूरे तालाब को गंदा कर सकती है वैसे अगर कॉन्शियसली सही मछलियों को एंटर करवाया जाए तो मछली दर मछली हम पूरे तालाब को साफ भी कर सकते हैं सो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दैट ऑल्सो बट एज ऑफ नाउ लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट दैट यू नो वॉट एर वॉट इज इट दैट यू शुड डू विथ दी एग्जिस्टिंग थिंग सो नंबर वन इज दैट वी नीड टू कॉन्शियसली थिंक अबाउट वी नीड people to work or work to people you know insanon ke liye niyam chahiye aur niyam ke liye insaan chahiye ye pehli cheez hame dekhna hai second thing is that we whether we believe it or not we have to make empathy as our core value and to be very honest with you and we have a great one up as long as we are in india is that the culture of india is built on this if i go back to my school days you know because i have out and out studied in gujarati medium so i i remember a poem which says ki eji tara angniya bujine koi aave to avkaro meetho aap je pani ene puch je sathe besi jam je so that empathy is there in our culture but in the rat race of following the westernized culture and becoming modern and developed somewhere down the line we have kind of put it under carpet so now it's time to bring that out and make empathy as one of the core value of the organization and i strongly believe be it covid or no covid i strongly believe that between two individual between two human beings the first feeling has to be of respect would you like to ask why do i say this i say this because of very simple reason that whether you believe it or not it's a rule of nature that what i can do you cannot what you can do i can't it may be anything so that's why the first feeling that should come in us is of respect and respect comes only when you can primarily empathize with the other person so empathy has to become a core value that's the second thing that we should be doing with our existing human resource third thing that is expected or that we should do is that we have to redefine effective leadership we have to absolutely redefine effective leadership because gone are those days where you know leaders were expected to create followers we have been taught all this while you know that you are only leader when you have followers but now the new definition of effective leadership is that you are a leader only when you can create leaders the primary job of a leader is to create leaders so that's a new definition and just imagine if we can transfer this new understanding to our managers to our leaders to our mid level management to our senior level management that your your job is to create the leader give them only one task that within next 6 months find me a person who can sit in your chair and you need to go out of this that's only task that's the only task when you are in my organization or when you are in an organization when you are in a manager or a leadership role your only task is that within next 6 months to 1 year find me one person who can replace you if you are fortunate enough and successfully doing it then there is no other way but going up and if you are not being able to do it any which ways you are not required 
does this make sense yeah okay going further is that we all have to adapt to the impact that has been generated or created by covid culture has changed mindset have changed you know things have changed the world is not like what it was before pandemic let's accept it but probably just the way we were craving for a few things and we became slave of some monotony covid has given us some new things and new ideas and new areas and new perceptions to think about and to grow upon so we need to adapt ki ye impact aaya hai aur workplace pe change hoga so be it right next point out here is we have to embrace the new found resilience you know this this word resilience was not so prominent beforehand but we have to embrace it people have become more resilient in whatever they do now so that is something that needs to be addressed very specifically and last but not the least is that <clears throat> we have to access the technology stakes because believe it or not because of covid the portion or the part or the contribution of technology has vaulted multifold previously jis tarike se hum kaam karte the ya hum you know even even to even to uh, if you look at the government things they have gone online there are single single window clearance things are you know previously i mean i mean just ask yourself when was the last time when you physically couriered something to somebody or wrote a letter to somebody when was the last time when was the last time when you visited a post office things are changing things are actually changing even even now people are very comfortable okay you have created a very important presentation whatsapp me send it via we transfer that has helped us also you know so before covid the clients that i had outside gujarat where i was conducting regular session and the client i have now where i am conducting sessions and counseling them has increased because they are comfortable now ki personally nahi aayenge to chalega <coughs> so this is something that the world is suggesting that what you should do or what we should do to cultivate the culture or rise about the pandemic effect now comes the last chunk and i think i am maintaining the the pace and time also quite uh, uh, in a in a reasonable manner so within next maximum 10 15 minutes we would be done with with whatever uh, i have to say so we are coming to the last bit where whatever i have felt for the first time i am sharing it with some audience right so <coughs> the small attempt that we are expected to do with the new blood fresh blood or new people that are coming to our organization or our team the point or the acronym or the concept that i named or termed it as is rise right and as the name suggest we have to rise above where we are so basically what we are expected to do is we have to up the game and believe you me these four pillars would help you to up your game forever right so let's begin with 
what is rise so number one is r and r stands for now that we are aware of the situation r stands for recruit right to retain r stands for recruit right to retain now when i say this recruit right to retain i would like to take you back as ama is celebrating its 25 years i would like to take you back to an instance which has happened 25 years before my birth i am going to share with you one instance of an interview which has happened in 1950 so there was a very very uh, genius guy who has been asked for an interview and you know what has happened he was been called upon over a breakfast in junagad and he was been served a bowl of mangoes this has actually happened huh because the person about whom i am talking happens to be my relative so he was served a bowl of mangoes both the interviewer and the interviewee had their breakfast they chit chatted and they discussed all the things of the world and at the end of the conversation where breakfast was about to get over the person who was taking interview he just asked mr bakshi can you tell me which all types of mango did you had and to the utter surprise of the person who was taking interview mr bakshi could tell him कि आम लंगड़ो थी आम केसरे थी आम बदामे थी एंड देट इंटरव्यू वॉज फॉर अपॉइंटिंग अ जू सुप्रिंटेन्डेंट एंड ही वॉज सिलेक्टेड ऑल्सो एंड टील ही वॉज अलाइव ही वॉज एन ऑफिशियल पर्सन और अ कंसल्टंट टू गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया in the crime branch wherever there was a complaint of human killed by animal if they couldn't solve the problem they used to come down to shrinivas bakshi and ask them that you know you can examine the body and you can tell us that whether these are the marks of human attack or it are these are the marks of animal attack he was that genius he was considered as an authority on asiatic lion so un dino se itne alag alag type ke interviews hain but aaj ke date mein if you ask any hr person i don't know whether there is anybody from hr who is sitting in this room or not how many types of interviews do we know it begins with meet me at this time at my cabin and when you are there would you like to have water tea or coffee okay give me your resume tell me about yourself as long as i have been sharing and training and consulting and mentoring people i know of about 20 different types of interview what you can conduct but how many of them do we consciously practice do we have a team and it's not only pertaining to hr people because re recruiting people is not only their job but how many of us are actually investing time to learn as to how do i design and decide that if i'm interviewing a candidate for so and so position which type of interview should i go for and you know the biggest transformation or change that is brought in my life or impacted is a book which is most probably available in ama library which is written by one of my guru and mentor mr b n dastur the name of the book is acquiring talent through behavioral interview if you like you can just go and grab it because mr dastur is is genius an authority in explaining the concepts to you in the finest and simplest manner in under 100 pages books and he is the guy who must have written nothing less than 120 plus books in his life 
book is acquiring talent through behavioral interview and it is very much available in the libraries of ama once you will go through that book you would realize that you know what are what have we been doing till now and just out of that 80 page or 100 page book i must have made nothing less than about a few lakhs of rupees <laughs> just by sharing the knowledge training people on how to interview bahut sare log hain jo is space mein kaam karte hain how to face the interview there are very few people who work and i'm i'm gracious enough to god that i'm one of them who work into the space where i also train and mentor people as to how to conduct interview and the base of my entire thing is that book fair so number 1 another thing is that we always look for good candidate what we are expected to look for is right candidate so when i was in my my employee role i always used to say this very bluntly and very straight to my subordinates or my peers ki agar bahut acha lagta hai ya bahut achhi lagti hai to apne bete ya beti ki shaadi kara do is job ke liye mujhe sahi banda chahiye acha banda nahi hoga chalega but somewhere down the line we have been compromising because time nahi hai you know the owner have a pressure of filling up the space the hr has a pressure of filling up the space because they also have to finally at the end of the year show the tat turn around time kitne time tak ye vacancy rahi aur aapne kitni jaldi bhari and so on and so forth does this make sense so number 1 is right agar aap pehle se hi sahi bande ko recruit karte ho if you are recruiting the right person it is it is a no brainer that he or she is going to get retained because he she is fit for it right so that's r so in rise r is recruit right to retain let's go to the second one which is i and i stands for intensive and informative induction intensive and informative induction even today there are organizations who has 15 long days or one month long induction programs wherein for full 8 hours you are expected to undergo training i don't know how many of us are habituated or want to work on it but when he or she is entering the organization the new the fresh talent the right candidate what we do is okay so agar aap sales mein ho to aapke manager ko bata diya hai kal aapko sab saman mil jayega aapko kal ko kal se unke sath field mein kaam karna hai aapko wahi kaam karna hai wahi train hona shuru kar do accounts ka banda hai jo tu agle organization mein karta tha yahan pe sirf thoda sa alag hoga but you start sitting with the accounts people and start working and then deliver me result but who are you who is he what is the organization what's the vision what's the mission why what is expected out of them what is the career progression that he or she can look upon we never take trouble to invest time in it we hardly induct anybody filling up forms and asking for the documents and doing kyc is not induction literal meaning of induction is you have to ignite and you have to retain the temperature that's induction you are not bringing the very talented or a befitting candidate to that level of enthusiasm and motivation and you are just putting them into the sea of performance go ahead swim and give me results kahan se hoga and then we are being judgmental 
गलत चॉइस हो गई वो बंदा गलत था मुझे तभी लगा था ये तो छोड़ के चला जाएगा एंड देन वी ब्लेम देम अभी टिकते नहीं है लोग बट वॉट आर वी डूइंग टू रिटेन देम आर वी स्पेंडिंग इनफ टाइम Just put a hand on your heart that to your younger brother or sister, to your kids, since how many years you are inducting them for your familial culture, even after so many failures, we are still inducting them. नहीं बेटा ऐसे नहीं होता है हमारे घर में ऐसे नहीं होता है. That's induction. We just have to adapt or replicate the same in our organization. and believe you me it is as simple as it sounds when i am saying this it's just a matter of showing that daring and showing that dedication once in creating that induction program and system so second is i the third one is s s stands for support system for success if let's say for example we said that gen z is not you know habituated work to work for long years in one organization or one position but if you sit with them if you align with them if you ask their expectation and if you tell them that what is it that you want to achieve in your life and if you give them that faith and and trust if you win their faith and trust and make them believe that whatever they want to achieve in life can be done here why would he or she would look out the poor fellow doesn't know mere sath kal kya hone wala hai and in self defense and in the survival of the fittest the person is bound to look at options so who are we to blame so the third suggestion of mine is that create a support system for their success so recruit right to retain number 2 is informative and intensive induction and number 3 is that create the support system for them to succeed and last but not the least always always keep them engage your each and every employee should be engaged because you know in the world of psychology also there is a new terminology very recent terminology which has came in which is known as fomo so whosoever is nodding head my dear friend what's fomo fear of missing out fear of missing out and that's the reason why humans are called social animal they function the best when they are in the group when they are included when they are in the society the moment you feel left out you knowingly or unknowingly start believing or asking yourself a question do i belong here why am i not being considered let me go to a place where i belong so if you keep them engaged all the time to everybody and believe you me once again it's not only the hr's job it's a job of entire organization it's a job of entire team and then slowly what would happen is that if i have to summarize slowly what would happen is that you have recruited right person who can be retained you have informatively and intensively inducted them you have created a support system for them to succeed and you have also keeping them engaged forever tell me why the culture will not change it has to change and we'll bring in that change so with that whatever i had planned and decided to share with you you know i am done with it and uh, you know so this was a small attempt called rise so thank you so very much and uh, we are open for questions Yes please
Okay, so can you elaborate at what juncture this question arised? Okay, so let's say for example, uh, so may I know what do you do? Soon you would be, okay, okay, fair enough. So most of the time what happens is that there are layers being formed in organization, you know? So grassroots level employees, then supervisors, then the managers, then the senior managers, then the regional managers, then the zonal managers, then the national managers, then the C-suit employees, and then the owners, right? So even today, if you look, what I respect about uh, Mukesh Bhai, now I'm sure I need not to say who Mukesh Bhai is, right? What I respect about Mukesh Bhai is that in the validatory or, or you know, certificate giving ceremony of PDPU, now which is PDEU, most of the times he is present. I don't know how many of us are aware of it, but whenever Jab PDEU mein padvidan samaro hota hai, when the degrees are been given to the student, Mukesh bhai make it a point that he is in Ahmedabad standing and honoring the degree to more than thousand students. And he never sit down. He stands there to everybody, hands over the degree, shake hand, wish them luck. Hand over the degree, shake hand, wish them luck. That's what I mean in giving time. He doesn't know how many of them are going to impact back on Reliance, impact back on PDPU, but he consciously gives time to human beings. So when you have a casted out clan of your team, at least you should be giving a considerable time. Because this is the least, least a human being can accept. Right? Just imagine if this room would have been emptied and I was expected to shoot a lecture, what would be my energy level? It's only because this, if at all this session has gone or reached to a some successful height or impactful height, it's only because of your presence. You gave time, so I, want, I was you know, energetic enough to speak for such long hour. I hope I have been address, been able to address your uh, concerns satisfactorily. Any other questions or concerns? So I think, uh, sir, we are through. Thank you so very much for being here. Uh, hope to see you all soon. Thank you. So thank you very much, uh, Ankitji, for your valuable inputs. And I thank all the participants on behalf of Ahmedabad Management Association to be part of this uh, evening uh, program. Friends, uh, these videos are uploaded on YouTube channel of Ahmedabad Management Association. If you have missed out any of the lecture, then definitely you can watch uh, video on YouTube channel that has been already there. In the past about two to three years, lectures are also been uploaded on YouTube uh, uh, channel of Ahmedabad Management Association. Plus AMA is also on Instagram and Facebook page. So please like, comment and share on Instagram and Facebook page. And for the details on uh, such speeches and lectures, you can just visit the website of Ahmedabad Management Association. So it is in three part. One part is the free lectures which are available. Mostly it happens on Friday, Saturday uh, in the evening, same time 6.30. There are some sandwich courses are there which are of maybe half day, one day or maybe two hours, three hours. It is also there. And we do have management programs. This AM has uh, affiliated with the uh, world's known uh, uh, universities and uh, institutions also where we run diploma and degree programs on professional uh, careers and other things. So that also it is available here and if you visit the reception all the details are available and, and printout is also available. As he said rightly please visit bookshop of Ahmedabad Management Association. 
there are good, very good management books which are available at the cost of 50 rupees 100 rupees or 200 rupees when you have to give someone if i have to give someone i don't gift a bouquet of flower i just give one book from ama so that person will keep it with him he will read and he will circulate to all other people also so thank you once again for being here so visit ama on friday saturday and make it a point to attend all these free lectures thank you